What's up guys, welcome to On Our Shelf. Today I am finally gonna give you guys a tour of our home theater room. I know I promised you guys I would have this done uh, this year and I waited to the exact last minute, but better late than never. And also the room is technically still not done yet. It's about 70% uh, there. So this is more like a part one video and I'm sure I'll give you guys a part two version uh, sometime in the year 2017 when we get this room completely done. But enough talking. Let me show you guys what we have so far, so let's get started. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the entire home theater room area downstairs, just so that you guys can have an idea of what it's like to be down here. So, most of you already know that area right there, that's where I film most of my reviews. Um, this is the light that I use. I have a pretty basic setup. It's an LED photo light. Behind that is a picture of the Chicago skyline. Over here to the right, we have our fireplace with a few Christmas decorations still up because it's still that time of year. On top of the mantle, we have some vintage electronics. And all the way to the left on the mantle, we have our first rear bookshelf speaker. It's a Klipsch R14M speaker. And I should mention every speaker in this video is going to be a Klipsch speaker. Here is what it looks like without the speaker grill. Moving on, we have our 150 gallon aquarium. I did a separate video on this aquarium alone. I'll put a link below for that. It's a pretty cool video. It shows how I went from a 30 gallon to a 150 gallon aquarium. So if you wanna check that out, the link will be below. On top of the aquarium, we have our other bookshelf speaker. This isn't actually where it goes. It's just there now because the wall mount that was holding it up actually kind of was starting to come apart. So I have another one on the way. So it's just sitting on top of there temporarily. But yeah, this is our other rear bookshelf speaker. This is one of our movie posters, Back to the Future. I think it looks pretty cool. So this poster, we decided to place it right here. Next to that, we have this huge window which lets in a lot of light. I really hate it, but we're looking to fix that very soon. Here is the sofa we have down here. It's okay, it separates into five different parts, but it is going to be replaced very soon for something a lot more comfortable. Here is our media closet. I'm not going to open it up because everything is inside of books, so there's no point of really going through the books, but it's just a bunch of Blu-rays, DVDs, video games, and stuff like that in there. Here's a bathroom, no point of opening that up. You've seen one, you've seen them all. Those stairs right there lead you upstairs to the main level. This door right here leads you downstairs to the basement. Okay, so here we have Roscoe doing what he does 95% of the time, just laying there, and he wanted to say hi. This right here is our media table. I really like this table a lot. It kind of has like an old rustic look to it. And we pretty much keep all of our controllers, tablets, and cables underneath this table. Oh, and it has wheels, so it's really easy to move out of the way. Over here, we have two more movie posters, uh, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy and Bad Boys 2 with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. I think those two posters look pretty cool, and plus those are two of my favorite movies. Above the TV, we have three picture frames. All three of them represent um, going to the movies, as you can see. Over to the right, we have two more movie posters, Star Wars The Force Awakens and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Secret of the Ooze. Now let's get back to our electronics. To the left, we have our paper lamp. Next to that, we have a tower speaker with a Wii remote sitting on top of it. This tower speaker is a reference Premier RP250F by Klipsch. Next to the tower, we have our 10 inch subwoofer. It's a RTNSW. Moving over to the right, we have our PlayStation 4, PlayStation camera, center channel speaker, Nintendo Wii U, DirecTV DVR, and receiver. The center channel speaker is a R25C. The receiver itself is a Pioneer Elite VSX90 model. It's a 7.2 channel receiver. To the right, we have another paper lamp and our other tower speaker. As far as the TV goes, it's a Sony 70 inch 4K model XBR 70X850B 3D TV. And attached to this TV directly behind it are four multicolor LED strips that come with a remote. They came from Ikea, but I don't know the exact make and model. Now, as I stated earlier, this project is still incomplete. And that is because there are still lots of exposed wires still visible. Um, that's going to be taken care of later on. Also, this window right here lets in a lot of light when it's not dark outside. So if we wanna watch a movie and make this room dark in the daytime, we really can't with this setup we have now. So that's something I'm going to address in a future video as well. The sofa's going to be replaced. We wanna get some type of can lights in the ceiling with a dimmer. 
and also the wall directly behind the TV. We want to add some type of artwork to or do something unique to it or just paint it entirely. Not quite sure yet, but that's, you know, something we're pondering right now. As far as how the system sounds, I couldn't ask for anything more. It sounds great for this size room. When people come over, it gets lots of compliments and everybody loves it. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sample. I know it's not a real representation, but if I don't play it, I'm gonna get yelled at in the comment section. So here you go. <laughs> Here's a look at how it looks with the speaker grills on. I keep them off 95% of the time I really ever put them on. Um, I think it looks a whole lot better with the grills off, but here you go. You can still see a little bit of the, you know, copper shaped cone, copper colored cone uh, through the grills though. Here's the setup at night with the two lamps on. And just so you guys know, if you're interested in anything you see in this video, I'll put a link below for everything. So the speakers, the PlayStation, uh, the receiver, not the lamps, um, but pretty much you know all the electronics you see in this video, uh, I'll put a link to Amazon below so you can check it out and check out the reviews on those specific things. Now here's a look at the room at night with all the lights off except for the LEDs. It's pretty cool and it's my favorite time of the day to either watch movies or play games. So I really like this setup a lot and that's really it. I mean, this, that's what we have so far. Like I said, there's still quite a few more things to do, but with time, patience, and some more creative ideas, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And if you guys have any suggestions for us as far as what you would do to this room, please let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely um, keep them in mind and take them into consideration. I can tell you this, as far as um, speakers, we're thinking about switching out already. Um, I'm thinking about upgrading to a larger subwoofer and also switching out the rear speakers. This receiver does support Adobe Atmos, but I'm just not quite sold on that just yet. So, but we'll see, you never know. And I know I didn't give an in-depth review on the actual speakers, the system itself, but I wanted to make this more of a tour video so I didn't spend too much time on those particular um, items. But if you guys want me to do a separate video and talk specifically about the setup itself, the actual speakers, then let me know. I'll probably do a separate video talking about specifically how they sound. Now, remember, I'm going to put links below to where you can get most of this stuff from, including the poster. So if you saw anything you liked in this video, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put that link below. Also, I'm going to put links below for two, three different videos. Um, the unboxing of the speakers, TV, and also the aquarium setup. So if you didn't see those videos or you want to check them out again, the links will be below. So if you're not a subscriber to this channel already, please do so. Please like and share, it helps out a lot. And until next time, take care. I'll see you guys in our next video. Happy New Year and thanks for watching.